A game one victory to lethal here in the WR Open Finals on Xbox. ENG looking to tie the series up. India, we had a great game one. Charlie was fantastic. Shots was getting it done down low with some consistent play. What does ENG need to do here to tie it up? By the way, quick pause. Those lethal jerseys are fantastic. I That's definitely great. like him. I mean, Span, Span's been doing what he's got to do to make sure his team stays in the game, right? I want to see uh, Dietrich get a little bit more involved. I want to see what Spam can do, especially he can definitely make shots off the dribble, but I also want to see how his decision-making is. We saw three back-to-back-to-back -back -back plucks as you get the alley there. So that's what I want to see. Turnovers limited by Spam, and for him to continue the success that he had from game one. Well, a risky alley-oop there, and it's lethal with a quick 2-0 lead right off the top. They haven't even had a a basic offensive possession yet already with the lead. Andy, we talked about how, you know, you mentioned Spam needs to cut down to the turnovers. He did that in game one to some effect. His three-point shooting was good, but ENG just couldn't quite get over the hump there as they cut what was a 14-point a lead by spread. They cut it all the way down to three before falling right there at the buzzer. Yeah, and CB13, you give the man, you know, maybe a two inches of space and he's going to go ahead and green it in your eye. So someone like that, you've got to consistently rotate, make sure he doesn't have any space whatsoever because CB13 is not afraid to let it rip as we saw in game one. Trey hits a three there. He was kind of a non-factor in game one. Both sharps were Mo and Trey, not really doing too much there to assist their point guards, but hopefully we'll see a little bit more from the backcourt partners of Spam and Charlie in this one. Three to two game, lethal, a 1-0 series lead. Let's get things going here. Shots down low. He's going to get the easy layup. Give the lethal team a one-point lead. Again, you know, we had a great season from shots this year with Nets GC. Him and Chalk were just so devastating in that pick and roll. Do you see some similarities in the way that Charlie's using them? Or do you see is it a little bit different? What are you seeing out of a, out a shot so far in game one? I mean, Shot's been doing exactly what he typically does in the league as well, right? Dominates on the boards, is a little bit patient, has a defender jump before he goes ahead and commits to a layup and things like that, especially in this game. You've got to because a shot contest down low is just not, you know, it's, it's in favor of the defense. And so you've got Fakey here getting a nice positioning. But, yeah, for Shot's, I like what I'm seeing. Not too mad at it. He did go up a couple of times where it wasn't the best decision. But, again, it's Shot's. He knows what he's doing question in the chat what's the pot small pot tonight just five hundred dollars going to the winning team however these open championships all of the upa combined tournaments they're big and they all tie into the legacy leaderboard which will end us giving will end up giving us our seating for the big upa world championship in las vegas the 50k tournament in january so be prepared man these wins are big they may not be big for cash but they'll be big for seating when we go to vegas january 22nd and 23rd Andy and i will be there the rest of the upa team will be there as well should be a good time so maybe not the cash prize people want but definitely the stakes are there charlie with a big three over there on the right hash is the 10 to 5 early lead for lethal yeah, and I'm looking at the WR website. You've got the total season price pool. It looks it's north of $5,000 for both consoles, and that's always nice. Uh, so that's the price pool that we're looking at. And, yeah, if anyone went to the UPA event in Dallas, I mean, that was a great, great success. Shout out to the UPA team and everyone else that helped, helped put that event on. So I can't wait for Vegas. I just hope everyone gets to their games on time in the morning. <laughs> Agreed to that, man, especially in Vegas. Shots with it now. In transition, Lethal's trying to get something done. Over the corner, that one's going to be picked off. We're going the other way. e has got it. Over our purple pro friend in the corner, a missed alley -oop. That dunk meter caused mayhem for everybody in Pro-Am. Here comes Lethal again, trying to make something happen. A quick foul. Lethal still with a 10-5 to 5 lead. You know that dunk meter, we talked about it in game one. It's just impossible to get those alley-oops to go. They require a ton of skill, a ton of timing. I wonder if we're going to see any crazy ones uh, on stage in Vegas. I know that the guys will explode if we do. Oh, absolutely. And that's one of those alley-oops where in previous 2Ks, yeah, that's going in, no question about it. It's a great alley-oop, great cut, backdoor cut, but just not in this one. You've got to adjust to the gameplay that we have. Big three there from Lethal. Charlie getting it done. He's already got six points here in the first quarter. Lighten up those badges, especially off the dribble. Talking hyperdrive, talking quick first step. He's doing a great job with them. Is there a response from <laughs> Trey? He finally gets involved. Got to see more from the backcourts, especially the Sharps. Not a lot from Trey or Mo in game one like I talked about. Good to see an early shot from Trey to try to get him going. And that's a, that's a shot where I feel like for the mental, that's much needed, right? Because if he goes ahead and misses that one and CB13 gets a three of his own, then you're starting to open up the floodgates a little bit. And that's not what you want when you're already down one zip. So that's a huge, huge green, not just for the scoreboard, but also for the mental to let yourself know, hey, we're still here. And there's a lot more basketball left to force a game three. 
Mo misses this shot on the left side. ENG coming back down. Yes, that is Mama Mo of Mavs Gaming in season two and season three. Former first round pick, former expansion pick. Nice three there from Trey as ENG cuts it to a two point lead. You know, it's interesting. Mo didn't make it back to the league this year. He talked a lot about maybe retiring from 2K. I actually get the pleasure of interviewing the NBA Top Shot employee on Tuesday. So we'll have plenty of information more. Uh, on him as we get uh, closer and closer to Vegas. I know he wants to be there. It'll be interesting to see if he can help lead this lethal team uh, into a good seating spot there. And obviously, this is a great start for them if they're no, able absolutely. to win this tournament. Love watching him play. He's a great guy, great personality as well. Has done a great job with the league. And of course, now with Top Shot and everything else that he's involved with. Spam's got a two point lead here for lethal. Clock winding down here in the first quarter. <laughs> nice little bucket there. A little turnaround, Jay from Dietrich. Or excuse me, that one's fakey. Dietrich's one's got fakey, the uh, yeah. Dietrich's the other one, man. Dietrich started this game at center. They had a quick a quick swap after our initial our initial Xbox shutdown delay. So you got fakey at center and you got Dietrich packing power forward, filling in for miles. Tie game here, lethal with it. And that's going to be a quick foul. I wonder what the reason was uh, for the for the sub. I know that fakey said something, or excuse me, I know Miles said something in the chat. I didn't catch it. What did he say for the for the change? Yeah, no, he was just talking about how Dietrich, you know, in game one was Dietrich was at power forward, Fakie was at center. And that's because Miles, the reason we had the roster's incorrect information there is because Miles was filling in for the last two rounds for ENG. That's Charlie, what he was referring to. But he is in the final four on the PS5 side. Charlie, trying to make a move. Clock winded down here in the first quarter, trying to make it happen. Gets it down to the shots for the easy two. How about a four-point lead? Four seconds left to go. Spam tries to get it up quickly over to the corner. And, oh, that's going to be a green. Great shot there to beat the clock. Cut it down to a two-point lead. Got to love the purple fro, man. I'm telling you, uh, I don't believe that's Goon. I do believe that's actually Dietrich there with the purple fro. So, got to keep an eye out for it. I, I love the colored froze. Reminds me of, uh, of Jack. In, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of uh, JVM in the league. I love the colored pros. <laughs> Yeah, you've got a couple of folks I like to go to go ahead and get those colored froze. I believe DT is one of them there. He does a walk back. Um, something else I want to talk about is on the fast breaks there, right? They went ahead and space the floor, get the shot, get the open three. And that's something we saw in game one. Would be surprised if we see a little bit of that in game two. We saw towards the end of that first quarter where they spaced the floor a little bit, got a midi out of it. So that's something I want to take a look at and see how much more we get spacing on those fast breaks. Quick pass to the corner. Dietrich's not able to get the three to go. Lethal coming back in transition. It looks like they're going to slow things down a little bit. Charlie, left side, trying to make something happen. Gets at the shots. Back over to Mo. He's on the right hash. He's open. He's going to take the shot. He's going to mix the wide open. ENG is going to get the board. Nice, nice rebound there from Fakie. Fakie with it. Over to Trey. That's a bad pass. And here comes Lethal again. They got the numbers. Ooh, that's going to be a quick foul. Good idea there from ENG. It was a four on two there from Lethal. Looked like they might have the corner three open. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he tried to get it to shots, but it was tipped. Ooh, bad inbounds pass. Dietrich with a nice play. Spam's got it. Ooh, that's going to be a foul. It looked like a turnover. Lucky, lucky break there for ENG. Every single possession counts, especially when you're down one nothing in a best of three. ENG has to make something happen here on offense. They got hot in the second half of last game. But so far, the three-point shooting, it seems a little bit iffy. Only three of eight from three to start the game. Yeah, CB13, dare I say, off to a slower start. Not saying he's off to a slow start, but off to a slower start than what he had in game one. But still, two-point lead for lethal. Speaking Love of the that. man, he's going to get the steal back the other way. He gets it to Charger, and he throws it down. Four-point lead now for lethal. You say his name, and he responds. His third steal of the first half. Charlie getting it done on both ends right now. The man almost has as many steals as he does assists. Four assists, three steals, as you mentioned. Playing great D there. Tried to get the fourth one. He's like, watch me tie it up, India. Watch me. <laughs> Charlie nearing takeover. You can see in the top right-hand corner of your screen, almost near that playmaking takeover. We saw it make a huge impact in game one. Sent lethal on a crazy streak. Obviously, that team, ta team takeover helped as well, but it all started with Charlie. fakey has got it down low. Over to Trey. Back to the corner. Nice pass. That's not going to get it to go. Fakie with a big board, and he gets the easy putback. Fakie felt real brave there going back up with shots down there, but he got it done. Charlie, left side. Got it, the three, and he's going to make it. An easy wide-open shot. You can't give him that much space. Nine points, four assists for Charlie now. He is getting it done here in the first quarter. Char excuse me, first half. Trying to lead lethal to an easy sweep here in the WR Open Finals on the Xbox side. 
Yeah, you saw Charlie there try to take a little bit of a swipe, and because of that, he was able to get open because of the animation there. So you got to be smart, right? If you're CB13, yeah, you want to go ahead and get the plucks and the steals, but you don't want to get out of position like he did there. CB, top of the key, waiting for a screen from shots. Gets it. Bad pass. Dietrich with a great with a great interception. Angie going the other way. Goon tries to go up with it. Nothing there. They're going to try to get a quick reset, see if they get it over to spam. They do. Rotations were good on that one. You had the hash wide open. Nothing there in the corner. Back to spam on the right hash. He was dominating from that side. A good adjustment from lethal. Stem the tide. He's going to take a fade three. Going to rim out. Fakie with another big board. He's been all over the offensive board so far in this one. But ENG, the three-point shooting has gone ice cold from the last game. They're not able to take advantage of the mistakes so far from lethal. Spam. Top of the key. Trying to make something happen against Majestic. The lock. Fakie's going to get the easy board. Or excuse me, the easy bucket. And we're tied up at 22-all. Uh, speaking of 22-all, we had a bunch of weird NFL games that were tied at 22-22 today. Uh, one of them almost ended in a tie. That weird Bengals-Packers game. And, of course, the ever-weird Texans versus Patriots game. That 22 versus 22. All the NFL fans out there, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Charlie, yeah, trying to break the deadlock. Yeah, you hit the over today, right, India? You hit the over today I did, on, uh, I did. on Broncos I was Steelers. On the Broncos and Steelers, yep. It was a nice, you know, can't complain. Making a little cash, maybe not as much cash <laughs> as these guys stand to make tonight. A little stop and pop three there from Spam. ENG takes their first lead of the game. Yeah, you've got CB13 with his badge. I want to see if he can take advantage of it. Dot the hashes, dot the corners. That black badge is a blaze and shots is open down low. He's going to take the easy bucket and the foul. An ill-advised foul there off the corner from Fakey. We're going to get shots at the line with a chance to make it a two-point lead. Yeah, and you can see that the corners are a little hesitating, right, when it comes to rotating to make sure you guard the slip. And that's because you've got CB13 with a playmaking badge. You don't want to get dotted in the corner. So they're a little bit slow to leave their corner, rotate, and guard the slip. Not bad, right? Give up the two instead of the three. Series scores on the bottom of your screen. 1-0 series lead right now for Lethal. Spam's going to miss the midi. Fakie's been all over the offensive board, and he gets it and one on the other side. Fakie with a huge game on the O boards. He might be a double-digit rebounds already in the first half. Yeah, he's definitely dominating on the offensive board end for sure. Lethal with a one-point deficit, though they have the 1-0 series lead. Under a minute left here in the first half of game two. Charlie. You've got team takeover here as well. They do. We saw team takeover make a huge effect for lethal game one. Now ENG has it a game two. Can Charlie get away from the lock badge? He cannot. Rims out. Fake is going to get another board. And let's see if eyeball plays fast. They do not spam. Slow things down a little bit. 13 seconds separating shot clock and game clock. Spam has that sharpshooter badge and he uses it to great effect. An easy green. A four point lead now for ENG. We shot clock is off now. Can lethal make a bit of a dent looking for the series sweep? Charlie crossover, get it over to Mo. Nothing there. 10 seconds left in the half. Lethal playing it slow. Obviously a bunch of smart league players. Charlie, the nice crossover. He gets to the rim, all the fake up and he's going to miss the board. Nice shot there from, oh my goodness. A bit of a craziness there as Charlie can't get it to go. Shots gets the board, but that's going to end the first half. India, a wild sequence of events there. I stumbled all over my words. No, yeah, absolutely. And I want to talk about Fakie real quick. Obviously, he's been dominating on the offensive board. But on the defensive side, you know, if you're a power forward, if you play the corner, you want to keep an eye on what Fakie's doing. Uh, so obviously, he's a pro. But anytime a shot goes up, he does a great job of coming from the corner and boxing out the center. And so you can get the defensive board and avoid giving up the easy second chance point. So Fakie doing a great job on the offensive and defensive side, securing boards as he's already got seven, seven boards for Fakie compared to a total of three for lethal. Yeah, e Fakie seven, lethal three. ENG getting it done on the board. Second half here, game two, ENG with a four point lead. Let's see if they can push it to a game three. Mo left side, he's going to green the shot. That's the first green we've seen from him in this series. The former Mavs gaming sharp and lock lethal cuts it to a one point game. And they're going to get the ball back here. Uh, not doing too well here for the ENG team takeover. Not a big effect for them so far. Charlie trying to get away from that lock badge. Can't do it. Needs a reset. 
Shots with it. Right side. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Charlie looking for some space. Can't find it. Gets mm-hmm. baited into a corner pass. Dietrich was standing there. The easiest interception he's had all night. And AEG is going to get the quick foul. Good stop there by Lethal. The purple fro didn't even move a muscle whatsoever. I don't even know if he was breathing. That's how still he was on that steal. That's a predetermined pass where you're expecting a rotation, but you didn't quite read the defense properly at all. Spam still has that badge of blazing. A team takeover. It's got to be winding down a little bit soon. We'll see how much time they have left on it. Lethal's doing a great job of slowing them down, making sure that that team takeover can't kill them. I want to see Mo get involved a little bit more. He had zero points coming into the second half. You mentioned that he got his first green earlier, but I want to see him get more involved, help out CB13 on the scoring side of things. Angie with the inbound. One-point lead for them here in game two, looking to send it to a game three in the WR Open Xbox Finals. Trey, he's going to have the open shot. He's going to hit a four-point lead again for ENG. Trey has been quiet so far. We know he has the shooting talent. And he showed it off there. Hash defender pinched a little bit too much. I believe he also tried to steal it and therefore got him out of position just enough to give up the open shot. Whoa, a wild deflection there. ENG is going the other way. Trey's got it. He's going to throw it down. The biggest lead of the game so far for ENG. They push it to six. Charlie trying to get over half court. He does before the delay. He's going to take an open three. That's not going to go. A free for shots. He gets it. Oh, he's going to get it stripped by faking. We're going the other way. Over to Dietrich. He stops and pops from three, and he hits it. A nine-point lead for ENG. A, a seven-point run as they push it to nine. Trying to get that game three. A great turn of events here for ENG. Without team takeover, who knows? Maybe team takeover again in 2K22 is more of a curse than a blessing. And I want to talk about the play of Fakie, right? That's a five-point swing because shots try to go up on Fakie. Fakie went ahead and got the steal as he, you know, as you see Dietrich getting it there and then Fakie passes it. Dietrich pops, you know, stops and pops. That's a five-point swing. And that started with Fakie getting another board there. But Fakie uh, is playing dominant tonight here in game two. An 11-point lead now for EMG, their biggest of the series so far. Charlie trying to make an impact. A couple of huge runs from ENG. They had one in game one to cut the lead to three. Now they have another huge run to make it an 11-point lead. Charlie with it. He's going to get plucked. He's got the cold ring now. That is not what you want. Spam over the right side, and he hits the three. A 14-point lead for ENG, and we seem dead set on a game three. A great turn of events here for ENG as Spam and Trey combined for 26. They've gone off. They have fed off that great energy that Fakie's been giving them on the offensive boards. And you've got nine turnovers for Lethal, and then now you've got CB13 with a cold badge. And we talked about Mo stepping up and helping Kina out. This is exactly where he needs them the most. You see a wild pass there. This ENG defense is flying, and they get another turnover. Going the other way, Trey to Spam in the corner. Some good transition defense from Lethal. Spam, he's got the matchup he wants. He takes the shot, and he hits the midi. How about a 16-point lead for ENG? What a run, a 14 14- Oh, run for ENG to push it to 16. Yeah, you see Spam right there with 17 points already in this game. Tough go over here for Charlie. Had a good first half. Now he sits here on a cold ring. I know that teammate grades don't mean a lot, but that C- minus definitely is hitting hard right now. Definitely gives you the vibe of this lethal team here in game two. Looks like they were headed towards a sweep, and ENG has flipped it on him. Spam right side, picks up his dribble. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, here comes Lethal again. Can Charlie hit the three to get off the cold ring? He does. Puts it back to a 13-point lead. Maybe Lethal has a little bit of life left. You know, I can't read CB13's mind, but if I could, I bet you he'd be saying, never seen kids move on defense this much in my life. He loves Pro-Am. If you look at the chat, that's him commenting in there. Oh, my God. Another three from ENG. They have gone in fuego from behind the arc. Back to 16 for ENG. Charlie with it. Coming off that three last possession. Can he get another one? He does get another one. Charlie heating up a little bit now. He's up to 17 points. Back to a 13-point game. Yeah, I mean, this is where you want to end the quarter strong. About a minute, you know, 10 left to go in the third. You want to cut it down to less than 10 points, and you've got a decent chance at coming back in the fourth. Uh-oh. Everything okay? <laughs> and uh, we're, we're out of here. Seems that we're going to have another problem. Somebody's Xbox turned off. Somebody's chaotic happened. So we have a lead here, a big-time 13-point lead for ENG here in Game 2. 